hey, I know this magazine. Well, I'm a big car guy, and they invited me to come down and drive the pace car this year at Daytona, and uh, it's a big thrill and a tremendous honor. I mean, you're driving the pace car at Daytona. What's more exciting than that? We thought it would be great, since Jay has never driven at Daytona, to uh, have Tony Stewart come out and give him a driving lesson. I remember his dad from A Wonderful Life, terrific actor. Well, his kid's racing now. Well, if we can keep him from doing donuts during the pace laps, I think we're all going to have a pretty enjoyable experience, and I think he'll enjoy it. It's nice to go 140 without cops behind you making, you know, yelling and screaming and saying you're speeding. We know he's a big car enthusiast, and uh, we enjoy having him around. He's a lot of fun. All right, what do you got? Uh, tails. You lose. I'm driving. Let me see that coin. Get in! It took a lot of intestinal fortitude for Tony to get in the same Firebird with Jay. He's not a professional race car driver by any means, but the track seems huge when you stand there. And then you go around it at 60, and it seems, still seems pretty big. And you go around 100, and it seems smaller. And you go around 130, and you go, some of this is like a two-lane highway, you know, and you realize how much skill uh, these guys really have. He's never been around the Daytona International Speedway till today, and it was nice to, to be able to take him out and just show him some pointers of, uh, you know, what running on the high banks is all about. He's been around Indianapolis, but it's a lot flatter of a racetrack, so uh, I think it was a unique experience for him today, getting on the high banks and, uh, and you really seeing what these cars can do. Just like PlayStation 2, huh, Tony? Tony? You know, driving is one of those things that everybody does it, everybody thinks they're pretty good at it. It's like when you go to a bar and karaoke night, everybody thinks they're a singer. Uh, they're not, they're not. And, and, you know, it's fun to go out on the track and pretend to be a race car driver, and then when you actually have a real race car driver sitting next to you or you're in the passenger seat, you realize, no, this is uh, keep dreaming. I can tell you one thing. When we're out there and it was just the two of us, he wasn't poking fun at anybody. He was, uh, he was concentrating pretty hard on what he was doing behind the wheel. It is fun to, uh, you know, just to ride with those guys and see what they do and, and try to, you know, through osmosis, try to pick up something. So, does Jay get a passing grade, Tony? He did okay. <laughs> He's got room for improvement, but uh, we got Room all for day. improvement. It's like we school. Jay has the ability, but does not apply himself. If Jay wanted to, he could blank. Thank you, Tony, for that encouragement. We'll get him where he needs to be. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm feeling secure that my Home Depot ride's gonna be just fine. I'm not gonna yeah. lose him. No, he thinks I should be at Home Depot, is where he thinks I should be, <laughs> not at the track.